very interesting observations uh, and, of course, comments from uh, Marisa Sierra, to his community organizer in San Diego. Now, let's talk about the people who are planning to vote. Do you think millennials will be voting? And who will they vote for? And what about those traditional Republicans and those who are Democrats and those that who supported Sanders? Where do they go now? You know, for the Sanders vote, like I had reiterated before, um, I see them just blaming, blaming, um, and pointing a finger, uh, excuse me, at Trump uh, for whatever reason. And um, they, they, they can't solidify themselves that they gave Hillary so much, um, but they want to um, downgrade Trump. So, I mean, they, it's like, well, which one are you going to choose? Are you going to are you going to choose Hillary or are you going to choose Trump? Although, you know, you want to downgrade Trump, um, which they do, uh, they, uh, they're not, like, they're not completely sold on Hillary. So, um, so, you know, on that end, uh, it, it may, they may not even vote. I mean, the way, you know, the way I see it. I mean, it's just more like, um, those were like the newbies that were going to go out there and vote and support a new candidate and a new person, a new kid on the block that was uh, that was rising up there, and that was um, Sanders. But unfortunately, he did not um, get into the plate, and so um, so those people are like in limbo. They don't want to support Trump, and and some do, and and then they don't want to support Hillary. I don't see them like really like gung ho to say, "Hey, I'm going to support Hillary." They they are have they have some people that will support Trump, but not um, as many as people think they do. And as far as for Hillary, I don't see them really leaning towards Hillary at all. As far as the conservative Republicans, um, that's a toss up again. That's gonna hurt Trump. And the same thing with Hillary. That's a toss up again because the. The, the Bernie Sanders and the Hillary um, team um, got kind of split. That's going to hurt Hillary. So again, both Hillary and um, and Trump are both a toss up at this point because of the fact that um, both leadership had some some um, barriers of, of uh, candidates of sort um, that, and also um, with Trump's mannerism, they believe that that is, is helping Hillary to be on top of, of everything that's going on. So basically, what one, one Vietnamese uh, gentleman had indicated um, in the Voters Alliance here in the community, he indicated um, Hillary's winning by default. <laughs> because, uh, <laughs> which was an interesting, uh, <laughs> uh, interesting thing he was going to say. In other words, you know, she doesn't have to say anything. Um, as long as Trump continues to keep doing what he's doing, <laughs> Hillary is winning by default. That's what he said. And I said, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so I, I, I thought I'd, I'd let, you, let, let the viewers know that, you know, I mean, it, and again, um, being a GOP, it doesn't mean that, you know, that we, we can't um, see everything all, at, you know, in one picture, but at least understand that, um what the other people are, are you know, saying on one hand or the other. Do you hear people say that uh, this election is so different from the past and we have two of the most unpopular candidates for president? Uh, yes, that is very true. I uh, definitely have gotten that. Um, it, it's, um, it's, uh, it's really, um, they are kind of like... Uh, Everything but, like, again, the toss-up, and I continue to keep saying toss-up because one of them even said, uh, you know, um, one community leader who's a commissioner um, actually said they both, um, I don't want to say it in, 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 on, on, um, in, in, uh, on the radio station, but they're both, you know, it's not somebody that, um, that they would really support. But, but then the, uh, but the person still wanted to be Trump, and they're very interested in probably um, wanting uh to see a, a fun debate between both of them. And um, the question that the person asked here at Chula Vista, who is a commissioner here um, in one of the, in the cities in San Diego, said the question is, um, who will be fired? <laughs> 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 so we have some interesting, 
interesting, you know, talks with some of these people that they have their own little, um, <laughs> uh, you know, message to, to pull across. But um, there was one, you know, person that indicated in the community that API, he actually um, uh, said something, um, did, um, did what, what Trump said, were the Filipino Americans um, offended by the statement about the immigration from the Philippines? And, um, you know, that was a good question. You know, I mean, because the, the message that I was getting from the, um, from the Sanders team that were Filipinos, they were really, like, pointing a finger really long and hard about that one. Um, but the, the GOP didn't really, um, uh, the Filipino Americans, they didn't really uh, get into, um, uh, into what, what, you know, what that was about. Mm-hmm.